happened uh, on October 7th, uh, this uh, big act of terrorism, the subsequent happenings after that. Uh, this has taken the entire region into a very different direction. But surely it must be everybody's hope that eventually, you know, the, the conflict cannot be the normal of that region, that it comes back to some stability, some cooperation. And within, within this, we have to find a balance between d different issues because uh, there is no question, I mean, if there is an issue of terrorism and we all find terrorism unacceptable, we have to stand up on terrorism. But there is also an issue of Palestine. Uh, the, there has to be a solution to what, what is, uh, you know, the problems which face the Palestinian people. And our view is that it has to be a two-state uh, solution. If you have to find a solution, you have to find a solution through dialogue and negotiation. You cannot find a solution through conflict and terrorism. So we would support uh, that as well. And given the current situation, you know, what is happening there, we uh, do believe that international humanitarian law uh, must be respected by everybody. Uh, so, uh, you know, in any complex situation, uh, it is not uh, wise to only, you know, to, to not get the balance right. I think that is a very important part of addressing uh, a very uh, difficult uh, uh, and complicated uh, situation.